In this video, we're going to be looking at a Bible that is in the McLaren series from Thomas Nelson. The McLaren series, according to the back of the box, is named for noted Victorian era preacher Alexander McLaren. This series of elegant Bibles features regal blue highlights and verse numbers and clear line matched text. So this series of Bibles, the McLaren series, is really nice. I actually took a look at another McLaren series Bible on this channel in another video if you'd like to check that out. It was the New King James full-size McLaren series Bible. But in this video, we're going to be looking at what they call the compact edition, or as Tim Nichols likes to refer to this as the baby McLaren. So we're going to be looking at this Bible, the compact edition, and also comparing it to the full-size edition, as well as some other Bibles. So the McLaren series is really a kind of what I would call a spiffy edition of these Bibles. I think they have them in the New King James as well as the King James Version. They're put out by Thomas Nelson. The boxes that they come in, as you can see, are really nice. It's a clamshell box. It has a really nice design to it. And on the back, it tells you about this Bible. This New King James is a double column format paragraph style. It says that it's in the New King James comfort print in seven point size font, which is a little bit on the small side, but it is a small Bible as we'll see here. The retail on this is about $90. And there's the ISBN number as well. This one is in the black genuine leather. They do also have them in other cover options. But I will say that uh, these genuine leather covers in the McLaren series are really nice. I'll bring out the full size here so you can just see the comparison. Both of these Bibles have really nice uh, leather covers. Now this full size one is actually the goat skin leather. So this is almost really on a premier collection level, but this compact size says it's a genuine leather. I also want to compare it uh, to the leather here, the genuine leather of a Bible that I reviewed recently. This is a single column wide margin Bible. And this is genuine leather, but I would say that the genuine leather in this McLaren series Bible is actually nicer. But I will say it's interesting that the spines on both of these Bibles look very similar. Almost the same with, with just a little bit of difference you can see there. But what really makes this Bible special here is that it is compact, and yet it's made really... Um, very nicely you know you could tell they they really put a lot of tlc into this bible a lot of uh compact bibles i would say just you know tend to be the the cheaper kind of bible from what i've seen but this one actually like i showed you that the leather is quite nice the design on it is nice and then when you get inside here it's actually an edge line bible which is really surprising you also see they have the gilt line on the perimeter there. It is perimeter stitched as well. They have two double-sided ribbons, a black and a blue ribbon, and then gold gilt page edges. Now the page edges on these just have gold, no under art gilding there. In the full size McLaren, this does look like it has some red under gold, I believe. It's very faint, and I could be wrong, but I think that that does maybe have some red under gold there. But you can see both of these are made at a very good quality level in their construction with that edge line construction. So even though these are not called Premier Collection Bibles, they really have some features that are a little bit more along that lines which I think for a compact Bible is just really impressive. Now getting inside here, we'll quickly look at what you got for contents. You do have a presentation page, the title page there, publisher title page. You 
And here's the copyright page, copyright 2021. So this is actually printed in 2021 and is the first edition, first printing of this Bible. Here's the contents page, book abbreviations, special abbreviations, and you have your preface to the New King James Version. And it looks to me like it is a full-size preface, not just like a quick one-page preface. So I like to see the full-size one. That's, that's cool. Then you have your Old Testament title page. Here you're going to see the formatting that is special to the McLaren series with the blue highlights. And it has a really nice design, that comfort print. It is a seven point, as I said, kind of small, but I think that the comfort print does a really good job at this size of still being very readable. It is line matched. You see the paragraph formatting here for the New King James, but it also does have stanza settings for poetry. And actually we'll just go along here in this Bible. And as we see, in the book of Psalms, the poetry. One thing I like to look at when you're in the poetic settings is just to see how much ghosting is there, uh, how much show through, and really it is not bad at all. So for this size Bible, it's, it's actually quite readable, very nicely printed, good materials, good construction. Let's get to the New Testament. So we have the New Testament title page. And then as we get into the book of Matthew, you'll see here that this is actually a black letter text for the words of Christ. And then again, beautiful formatting throughout this Bible. At the end of the Bible, what do we have? We have some lined paper. So there's not a lot in the back here, but I know that will make a lot of people happy to have that lined paper. You can take notes in the back, put whatever information you want to in the back of this Bible. And then you have a note regarding the type and the final end sheets there. So really cool. I mean, what a great little Bible, compact edition of the McLaren series. You're looking here at a Bible that is not even seven inches tall, only about four and a half inches wide, and a little less than an inch and a half thick, maybe an inch and three eighths thick. And yet with that size, you're really getting quite a readable font there. Now, if you have trouble, and I do tend to have trouble with smaller fonts myself, I couldn't read this for a long time necessarily, but for something quick on the go, taking with you easily, that you want to read a small portion of scripture, maybe read it in the hospital at the bedside of someone, maybe taking with you witnessing, something like that, this could be a really useful Bible. So since this is compact, I thought it would be interesting to compare it to some other quote-unquote compact Bibles. This is the New Living Translation compact edition. This one actually is a zippered edition, which is pretty cool. But when you look inside here, you'll actually see that the font on the McLaren is, from what I can tell, a little bit larger, a little bit easier to read. Now, this NLT is actually a thinner Bible, a little bit uh, taller maybe, similar width, but the NLT is a thinner Bible. So this is even more compact, but you do sacrifice font size and readability uh, to get that size of a Bible. So it's always a balancing act, and I think that the McLaren is going to make a lot of people happy because, yes, it's small, but it's still quite readable. Let's also compare it to a very well-known Bible, the Pitt Minion. Now, the Pitt Minion does also have references, as you can see in the center column there. But the font size on the McLaren is probably a tad bigger. And I would say it's just maybe slightly more readable than the Pit Minion, from, from what I can tell. 
I would say the McLaren is a little bit more readable. One other compact Bible that I'm going to show you here is the large print compact. And what you'll notice, this is the, the New American Standard Bible 2020 edition, is that it is larger than the McLaren compact. And it's a large print. This one's a large print. So, of course, it's going to be larger. Um, but when you look at these two here, you will see actually that the McLaren still competes pretty well in terms of uh, readability. Now, this NASB is a, I think, 9-point font is what it's listed as. So it will be easier to read, but it is considered a large print for a compact Bible. This McLaren is not considered large print and yet really competes pretty well. So I just thought I would show you compact really just depends on the publisher and the style. And so all of these Bibles you could consider compact. And the McLaren kind of is a little bit uh, thicker than some of these other Bibles. But in some ways it's a little bit uh, maybe narrower, not as wide, a little bit smaller in some ways. And that comfort print design is really quite readable. Something else I thought I would compare it with would be the personal size Quintel, just to show you how these two compare in size. Now the personal size Quintel, or the PSQ, does have uh, 8.5 font, I think is what it's listed as. Really good size font and references at the bottom. So definitely uh, the PSQ is going to win out in terms of readability. However, it is a bigger Bible than the McLaren. And the PSQ is obviously a lot more expensive than the, than the McLaren is. But it's kind of interesting just to see, you know, what the, what the different sizes are in the Bibles and the different fonts and how they read. So you can see here actually that uh, that comfort print is nice and bold. That's one really good thing about it. And for a seven point font, it's, uh, it's pretty nice. Another Bible that's interesting to compare to is this Royal Reference Bible, New King James for the 1980s. And this really gives you also a sense of the changes that have taken place in Bible design. You can see the older Bible there. Um, actually, that font size is pretty good in the royal reference on the left there, and it has center column references. However, when you get to the poetry, they actually used a smaller font in the poetic, poetic setting of the royal reference. So I would say that now the font sizes are actually pretty similar. But the royal reference is a little bit bigger than this McLaren series compact. So with these personal size Bibles, I guess you could call them, they're more that hand size. They're going to be a little bit more readable, but also a little bit bigger than this compact Bible. So one more look comparing the full size McLaren to this compact edition. And obviously the full size New King James is going to have much larger font. It's actually listed as a 10.5 size font in the full size here. So much bigger than that seven point font that we've been looking at. And also you see a difference in formatting that the large size is a verse by verse format and this one is paragraph format. But both of them, when you're in poetry, have stanza settings for the poetry. And then also you'll see that the full size has references on the bottom and the compact edition we've been looking at does not have references but it does have translator notes. So I hope that uh, this look at this Bible in comparison with other Bibles has answered a lot of your questions but if you have any other questions or comments I'd love to see that in the comment section below. But thank you so much for taking a look at this with me from a fresh perspective.